living quotes. All of us read quotations, right? We all read quotations. How will it be if we can actually see how we can apply quotations in our own life? So I see quite a few people have already joined in. Just to let you know, I'm excited. This is the first time that I'm presenting Living Quotes. Wonderful, wonderful, dear friends. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Namaskar, Vanakam. Good evening, everybody. It's 9 p.m. here, 9.01. And uh, I'm very happy to be here for this inaugural, inaugural show of Living Quotes. So I kind of, <clears throat> evenings are, you know, easy times, huh? Good day. How was your day? How was your day? Yeah. Safraz Ahmed, watching Abu Dhabi, how are you? Fanela Sundari, how are you? Vinayak Jaiswal, good evening. Good evening. Karan Khushwaha, how are you? Raj, share, how are you, dear friend? Fanela Sundari, wanna come, wanna come, wanna come. So those of you who are who are watching it outside of YouTube on Facebook, <laughs> I'm inviting you to come over to YouTube and watch it. Uh, this is this show is going to be primarily on YouTube uh, in the coming uh, weeks. And Namaskar, Rinal Saha. And you can join me on YouTube on uh, Ashish Vidyarthi Official. And uh, so what am I going to do in this show? I'm actually going to be chatting with you. So I'll be taking your questions and uh, we will be looking at how do quotes appear for us in our life? We all read quotations, right? You know, I'm wearing my glasses just to read the quotations. Uh, so we all read quotations, but how would it be? And, and we are inspired by quotations. I'm very inspired by quotations. Oh, Shahid Islam Sutton from Spain. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. So good to see you. Rubu Rubustana, great. Khan Ashraf, bahut bahut swagat hai aapka. Shokim Khan, bahut bahut shukriya. Ganesh Guru, thank you. Nicola Austin, good evening. Good evening. Pushpa Sharma, namaskar. Ashi Shahirwar. So all of us, you know, we read quotations, right? And we are inspired by them and we even forward it to people. But then, how... How will it be when we apply it in our life? And that really, you know, attracts me. So today, as you settle down this evening, I want you to enjoy yourself. All right. Enjoy yourself and let this conversation go deep inside. you. I want you to chill, completely relax. People are used to my high energy, high power conversations, right? Today, you're going to be a relaxed, have a relaxed evening. And that is what this is going to be. Imagine you are listening to some wonderful music, peaceful music. And while you're listening to this music, I want you to hear some thoughts and look at it, how they apply for yourself. All right. Yes. Yes. Abhay Kumar. We will, we will see that, you know, how, how, how you can, how you can concentrate. Yeah, Abhay. Pushpa Sharma Ji, Namaskar. Yes. Abhay, today we'll also do that, how you can concentrate. So concentrate on yourself. So all that you, I'm going to speak here. Ponnu Ponnu from Dharmapuri. Wow, wow, wow. Ambika Tamanna. Wonderful. Thank you, Ambika. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So I want you to experience this conversation as if whatever this quotation that I'm going to read, Look at it from you, from your own life. All right. And then you can throw questions to me and I will try and answer as many as I can. Again, I will tell you this conversation is going to be mainly on YouTube. So those of you, and there's such a lot of people who are watching also on Facebook. I want you to please come over to my YouTube channel. Ashish Vidyarthi official and join me here because there'll be certain certain such kind of conversations which I'm going to have exclusively on YouTube. All right. So today, wherever you are, hi Vicky Swami, Swagat, 
Rajapriya Rajshankar, good, good evening. Okay, Sri Gauri Nadra is a psychology student. Wonderful. Bhagavad Shukri Anand Singh, thank you so very much. So today we begin with a quote, a quotation. All right. And let me get the quotation in. And I will first read that quotation for you. And then uh, we will chat around it. All right. So we will not have any um, messages from now. And let's have a read of this quotation. Are you ready for the quotation? Yeah. All right. This is a quotation spoken, written by Ariana Huffington. And she says, we need to accept that we won't always make the right decisions, that we will screw up royally sometimes. Understanding that failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of success. Ariana Huffington. So if I can just go with it, you know, just in terms of those lines and and I love this line. So we need to accept that we won't always make the right decisions. So just look at it. Typically, we are all pressurized to make the right decisions, right? You had a long day today. You're back home, especially if you're in India time. And the entire day, you had to take decisions. Small decisions, big decisions. Certain decisions went your way. Certain decisions didn't exactly go your way. But you were responsible for it, right? And there are so many times that you say, yeah, could I have made that decision in a different way? Yeah? So first of all, we need to accept that we won't always make the right decisions. I'm somebody, I see that in my life. <clears throat> through my life there have been so many things that I have done I have chosen to do you know life is made out of choices you made choices in life right I made choices in my life and some of those choices have worked out some of them haven't worked out some of them have worked out for a while and then not worked out some of them haven't worked out and then worked out Till again, they may not work out again. So the key thing which I find in this quotation is that we need to really accept that we won't always make the right decision. Now, when we are not pressurized to make the right decision, and I'm not pressurized that I always make the right decision, that I'm light about it. I'm light about it, not heavy. I will share an instance. My our son was, uh, I think, in ninth grade. And there were many such things, but this is one I remember. And he asked me for something, and I said that you know I don't think that's uh, it's a good idea. And he shared. He said, "You know, Baba, but a lot of other parents have agreed." Uh, I said, "Okay, but I don't see it." And then I admitted to something to him. I said that, listen, I'm not saying I know the right thing to do because I do not know what is the right thing to do. But at this point, this is what I feel. And I'm also traveling this path with you, Arth. So I'll also discover how it goes. So many a times in my life, many, many a times, I'm, I'm light about certain calls that I take. The certain people I meet and that I align with them. We, we choose to work together. Do I know it's going to work out? I don't know. I really don't know. But I flow with time. And I can do it when I can accept that I will not always make the right decision. So when you have space for yourself that you will make mistakes, then you have the entire world open to you. Are you getting a sense of what I'm sharing, dear friends? Yeah? Remember, 
we are going to make mistakes and that's what ariana huffington was saying and we have to also get now let's re- read the second part of it understanding that failure is not the opposite of success it's part of success so typically when we are successful we say yes kamal kiya me bahut kamal kiya and when we we're not successful we are upset i should have been successful but i did this you know what opens up for me in this when i read that understanding that failure is not failure is not the opposite of success failure failure is part of the success look at yourself in your life okay as i'm speaking this out all that i'm saying please keep looking at yourself there are so many things that didn't work out for you right something you took and it didn't work out but have you noticed that the path that you took after that led you to where you are today now, i'll tell you about me <laughs> so many things haven't worked out and after that hasn't worked out i've just kept moving because that's how life is <clears throat> life doesn't stop right life doesn't stop when you're successful life doesn't stop when you're a failure life just continues so what she's saying is that understanding that failure is not the opposite of success and if i have not failed then i would have succeeded it's part of success remember failure one is this you just moving and at some point something will work out and then there is another part <clears throat> just as something moves happens badhiya hua great decision phenomenal success remember even that part is moving even that success is not the opposite of failure success is just another milestone at that point <clears throat> this conversation is about moving life life is continuously moving continuously moving is it true for you do you see it moving haven't you seen moments of amazing success and then you're moved and at some point you faced failure and you're moved and you have seen success again so one thing which i get from this quote of ariana huffington is life will be in movement can i be light about it can i be light about both failure and success so this evening as you are retiring for the night this is the first thought i want you to take Mr. Day I'm going to work on two quotations with you. I read this quotation once again. We need to accept that we won't always make the right decisions. We will screw up royally sometimes. Understanding that failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of success. And to add to it, understanding that failure just like failure is not the opposite of success understanding also that success is not the opposite of failure that's part of your life so when we can be light about our decisions and know that any decision that we take the person who takes that decision has to be responsible for the consequences of that decision that's it So when I take a decision, so for example, you know, uh, I chose to act in many languages. And then when I was doing more of films in other languages, people said, "It's a how could you do that? That's a wrong decision." Or somebody says, "Right decision." Who knows? As long as I am ready to face the consequences of that action. Over the years, 
as I have moved through life, just as you have, haven't you noticed that people will say, that was not the right one, that was the wrong one, oh, that was the right one, that other one was the wrong one. Consider all of us cannot be pulled by that. That's what I tell friends. I don't know. Except that I will keep rolling. I keep taking calls one after the other, knowing fully well that I will be responsible for my actions. I cannot blame. I will not blame anybody else for that. So today also, as I, as I, as I have this conversation with you, it's a new show. Okay. And, and we are putting this up. My amazing team, you know, which is it's curated by my colleague, Divya Sane. And we are bringing out this new way of communication with people. And she has said that this has to be a relaxing, relaxing show. So that people can actually experience that through the day, as they go to sleep, as they listen to some music, let these thoughts be with them. Do we know, will it work? We don't know, but we won't stop. We will go on because remember, we need to accept that we won't always be right, but we won't be stopped. Thank you, Ariana Huffington for this particular thought. All right. And uh, so this was the first quotation that I was working on and I will now come down to the second quotation. All right. So do you want if anybody wants any questions, you have any questions on this, what we did up till now? Fenella Sontari, you can come down to YouTube. She's asked, how do I come down to YouTube? Come down to YouTube and can you just put our, um, it's called uh, on YouTube, it's called Ashish Vidyarthi Official. And you can come down to that and then Oh, wonderful. Amba de Salin Blie from Ethiopia. Wonderful. Thank you so very much. Appreciate it. All right. So anybody has any questions about what I've spoken? Anything that you wish to share? Uh, anything that you want to ask? Okay. Thank you, Samira Khan. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. All right. So here is. So whoever is there, if you want to come on, uh, uh, the YouTube channel is called YouTube, uh, Ashish Vidyarthi official, because this is going to be on that. All right. Uh, all right. And this Pilu, oh, Pilu is saying, all right, love the spirit of your show, Divya Sane. Thank you. Thank you, Pilu. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Captain, Captain. Thank you so very much. Okay. So here is one question. Badrinath Korti says, I have said before, like no one takes wrong decision, but decisions may go wrong. That's right. That's right. Badrinath. Uh, many a times the calls that you will take may go wrong. But then as they say that it's our job to make calls, right? You will not always take the right call. But we got to make the calls right. Okay, so great. Shashi Sagar, Namaskar. Okay, uh, this is this is Shalini Biral says, How can we come out of failure? Generally, we start over overthinking. Yes, Shalini Biral, I think that that particular line for you to really get that you will not always get it right. You know, when Ariana Huffington says that you won't always get it right. So therefore you, you're okay with making a mistake. You're okay with failure because failure is going to be part of your life. My friend, if you think that you can guarantee success, then and you're living in a false world, which it isn't real. So don't put unnecessary pressure on yourself. There is no guarantee in life. It is only your ability to pass through it these kind of quotations when they say that it's okay you know that success you cannot always guarantee it and that makes it light you don't make it heavy for yourself i'll read it again we need to accept that we won't always make the right decisions it just keeps it light for me 
and I want you to consider Shalini. Keep it light. Yes, failure here. Yeah. Huh. I'll handle it. And I will handle it. No one else is going to handle it. And if you are successful, congratulations. Even then you will have to handle it because even that is not permanent. All right? So great. Fantastic. Moava my Dankali from Nigeria. When am I next coming to Nigeria? I've never been to Nigeria. I would love to at some point. But thank you for your wishes. And I'm inviting you to come over to my YouTube channel because this show is primarily going to be on YouTube in the coming weeks. So please come on to uh, my YouTube channel, Ashish Vidyarthi Official. All right? So now we go on to the next one. Are we ready for the next one? Right? All right. Here goes. So we just remove the comment and uh, we just have a read of this. This one is a beautiful one. When one door of happiness closes, another opens. But often we look at it so long. I'll re read it again. When one door of happiness closes, another opens. But often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one which has been opened for us. Helen Geller. When one door of happiness closes, another opens. But often we look so long at that closed door we do not see the one which has been opened for us. Are you getting a sense of it, dear friends? Sometimes I feel that we all love to celebrate failure. <laughs> and not others' failure, our own failure. You know, we, we have a long list of things that we say that this didn't happen, that didn't happen. That could have happened. That didn't happen. Right? That didn't happen. 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 Don't even look at things that are happening and could happen. Look at your life. Look at your life. Rahman Basha, thank you. Avitra Shalakuma, thank you. Pushpa Sharma, thank you. Look at your life. When one door of happiness closes, another opens. But often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one which has been opened for us. We ignore the, open, the new one because we have just been sitting and complaining, feeling sad for ourselves. Hasn't it been there in your life, my friend? It's been there in my life. There's so many things that haven't happened. You know, those that didn't happen. And I spent very long time cribbing about it. that didn't happen. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. People say, yeah, but that's happened. No, that's forget it. But that didn't happen. That didn't happen. And many a times when you're just concentrating on that didn't happen, that didn't happen. You're not even aware of the amazing possibilities that are happening around. For me, I have been in all these spaces. Isn't it true for you also, my friend? Haven't you also spent time upset with things that didn't happen? You look so hard at those times that you don't even realize the wonderful things that are happening. I will share something. You know, some of the top most, uh, I can count at least five top directors in this country are very dear friends of mine, very, very dear friends of mine. And I will tell you, apart from one person with whom I've done just done a guest role, I've not worked with the other four. It's like this. In fact, I've not worked with five of my closest friends who are film directors. And for the longest time, I have been upset. If I say that I've not been upset, it'll be a lie. I have looked at him. Why haven't they cast me? And. There are times that I had gotten off and no, no, forget about it. Then people remind me, why hasn't he cast you? Why hasn't he cast you? Till one day, some years back, I suddenly realized that if I keep looking at those five people with whom I haven't worked, what about the 230 I've worked with? 230 films I've done in 11 languages. So I'm not looking at those 
those amazing people whom I didn't know who worked with me. And some of them repeatedly after that. So often, you know, we sit and complain and we, and once you're caught up in a complaint, caught up in an upset, it just impacts your own life. And the first part is that you do not even realize the blessings that are abounding around us. Friendships, opportunities, relationships, things, sights. There have been so many instances where we've reached late. Oh, the seats are gone. Okay, that is over. Missed the flight, missed the train. What else happened after that? If I don't know about that didn't happen, that didn't happen. Hey, something else has opened up. Look, look very carefully at your own life. Haven't there been some amazing things happening when you could look away from the things that did not happen? Because each time we keep looking at that window, that door which did not open, we're just making ourselves unhappy. Just today, look at just today, the whole day today. There have been some things which did not exactly happen, right? I know that. It's true for all of us. It's true for me. Even today, there have been some things which did not happen. But when I just look out, look away from there and see, hey, okay, but this is come up. Just to let you know, this conversation was not to happen today. I was to shoot something else today and somehow I felt in the afternoon, I, I start work very early. I, I, I wake up at four. I wake up at four and I sleep early. Not tonight, but normally. So I woke up at four, I did some interesting, I did some audio pause, I did some writing work, postings and writings and thinking and the entire day we had some lot of curation for the events which are happening organizations over this next week but I could not shoot a particular video that I wanted to shoot I was just feeling mentally dead and then this conversation came up and said that how about creating something this evening and going into a very uncomfortable place for me because I sleep by 9 p.m. latest or 10 and today I'm going to be with you people hopefully for a while imagine dear friends it's true for you also. For that one door which did not open. Haven't you seen so many other windows, doors, walls give way? Aren't you, even today at this point, aren't you the product of so many opportunities which came up out of nothing? During this lockdown, when this lockdown happened and all our work just stopped. I did look at this thing called everything is stopped. But I was extremely blessed. You know, we are six of us at Avid Minor. And as we sat down for our morning meeting, I think the 6th of March. And then 7th of March, a lot of cancellations happening. 8th of March, more cancellations happening. Would you believe it? By 8th, 9th March, we said we need to do something. So rather than just looking at the closed door, we started looking at what are the other possible places which are opening up. And for the first time, within 10 days, we did our first online program. I'd never done this before. I'm, I'm not a tech geek. I like to be, but I'm not. Till I discovered that I can, if only I stop looking at the closed door. But look at what's possible. Dear friend, it's true for you also. A lot of things are possible. They are. If only we stop looking at the things that didn't happen. That's a line from Helen Keller. Again, to remind you all, this show is going to be primarily on YouTube. So I'm inviting you to come over to YouTube on Ashish Vidyarthi Fishing, that's my channel. And 
and uh, I can then take your questions also. Manasir Khan, so I, any questions of yours, I will take your questions. All right, Manasir Khan says, okay, I'll just, uh, I'll just remove this so that we can have the questions read out. So what are your questions? I would love to have your questions. Okay, Badrinath is saying that human beings are full of full of emotions. Got it. Yes. Human beings are hurt by failures more than feeling of success. Hence, it takes time for them to come out of that and opportunities to. So, Badrinath, I'll share something very interesting with you. You know, this entire thing, this conversation that somebody's hurt. Hurt is only I am hurt. But Dina, you know, you're talking of hurt. I didn't even know that you were hurt because I didn't even know that you existed. So what is, no, you're, where are you hurt? There's nothing called hurt, my friend. It's a story that has been told to us around and then we try and live it. It's just, we just feel sorry for ourselves, very sorry for ourselves. And then we look around and look for people who can feel sorry for ourselves. They stay with us for a little while, then they go home and sleep. But we can't sleep because we are sorry for ourselves. Please understand success and failure like the earlier Ariana Huffington quote that we did today. Success and failure are part of life, dear friend. Don't take it seriously. This too shall pass. Each moment shall pass. So allow yourself this evening to be comforted by the fact that whatever has happened, has happened. Tomorrow is going to be another day. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, subscribe to my channels so that I can share my new videos with you. Cheers. And I'll see you again very soon. Appreciate it. Shubhratri. Good night. Shabakhair. See you soon again. Thank you, dear friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.